what's up, Mini Nation? It is your boy Davion, and welcome to the Mini Nation Gaming Channel. Did I do that right? Did I do that right? Yeah, yeah, hey! <laughs> I've done it in a while, so I keep forgetting if I actually say my intro correctly or not. But hey, we're here, and um, we're here with our uh, draft analysis for the IBL. This is something I haven't done in quite some time. I actually have no clue my cell phone is because I'm supposed to use that crap. Ugh. That's right. Okay. Um, I have, I have been in the works of this league, and I'm excited, uh, we met last season, this is the IBL, uh, the Indigo, I believe it's Indigo Battle League, don't at me, don't at me, it is the Indigo Battle League, uh, we were here, uh, we were here last season, we got to playoffs, we had a nice 7-3 record, and we lost first round to Mr., I think he won it all. Uh, Sir Hawker, that's who won it all. And we're here this season with actually a completely different team than last season. Last season we ran with x Kadro, Mega T-Tar. This season I decided to go a completely different route. We're also going with a completely different team. The Vegas Golden D Knights is our first. It is our inaugural season as the team. So let's hope we can complete some of the success that the real Vegas Golden Knights did do in this season for uh, the IBL. I'm excited. i pumped. So let's get into the draft analysis and we'll kick it off with my first pick, which was Bubbles the Mew. Now, you may be saying, Davion, you always freaky draft Mew. Okay, I wasn't taking Mew. I know, this is my excuse every single time. But the original game plan was to go with Tapu Bulu as my main Pokemon, or as my first round pick. I got the fifth or sixth pick out of 12. So it was my first in instinct. I wanted Tapu Bulu. I want to use Bulu uh, with the team because I wanted to get things like Dragonite. Um, I also wanted here, actually, it's on my phone. The draft plan's on my phone. Let me see what I can find it. Um, it's in my notes. Did I delete it? Oh, I deleted the plan. Um, let me pull it up. I think I think my AC for this season is um, Carson. So we had a lot of conversations about. Oh, you guys can see my freaking. Ha! <laughs> Good job, me. Um, because we sat and called and talked about it. I just don't remember exactly what the heck the team was. I wanted Sil Valley. I remember that. And then I wanted something. I don't remember what everything I wanted. But I wanted Top of Bulu. I ended up going around with Mew, uh, which kind of shook up my entire thing. Because I also wanted Necrozma. That's what it was. But it shook up my whole route because there wasn't really very many tier ones that I wanted or that I wanted to use. Um, a lot of things get banned. Or like things get banned in the league. So here, let me pull up. Let me pull up Discord again and show you guys what actually got banned. Because I feel like that's necessary. If you missed the draft. Um, so, ban picks are like things that get banned. You can, I believe they get restricted for points, but I don't think anybody took them. So, literally, the things that got banned were Kieran Black, Hoopa Unbound, Mimikyu, Landorus T, Manaphy, I took Celesteela, Mega Scizor, I lied to you, it wasn't Mega Scizor, it was Jirachi, Zerkatree, Gothitelle, Tapu Koko, Victini, and Hariyama were the ones that got. And but Tapu Bulu literally got picked first. So, I could not take Tapu Bulu with my first pick, which was really unfortunate, but I ended up going with Mew. Mew does a lot of things. Sorry for the whole description on that. I should have did that before I shut the Pokemon. But things like Will-O-Wisp and Crippled Things, it can heal itself up with Soft Boiled. It's a Defogger. You can run it special. You can run it physically. You can run it special. You can run it physically bulky. It literally can fit any need you need. And I've always loved Mew. We are going with the Bubbles route this season because... I don't want to use the nickname Christina. If you know my life, there's obvious reasons why I don't want to use that nickname. Alright, cool, cool. Next up, we have... Dragonite, go Knights, go! I wanted to draft Dragonite as my in for the inaugural season of the Golden Knights, the Golden D Knights. I had to get the mascot for him. I was gonna take Noivern with this team, but I decided to go the route of Dragonite. I've never used it. I also made it a Z Mon. How the Z moves work is you get 80, or you get 100 points overall, 80 for a tier one. So I had to take a tier one and a tier, uh, so it was tier A, tier E in this league, tier one, tier five, essentially, um, for my picks. Um, <clears throat> which I don't like that rule. I think it should be a little more to be a point where you should be able to take like a tier one and a tier three or tier four and not forced to take a tier five. And then you have up to three. So if you wanted to use all three, you had to use a tier five and two tier fours, which to me, that's kind of restricting. That's not, a, I feel like that's should be a little better. You should be able to make the middle ground and be able to at least take one to two tier threes 
and then a tier four if you want the three. So you can take a tier one and a tier three, and a tier a tier one, tier three, tier five. So that like it doesn't restrict you too much. Just my opinion though. That's it's whatever. Like people people will have their own opinions on it. I mean that's just mine. But I am intrigued to use this thing this season. Um, I don't know exactly what the move tutors did for it this season, but I know Big Boy gets access to Dragon Dance. Big Boy has a base 134 attack stat, so we can run that Young Choice Banded Outrage move, which would be lit. Um, it gets extreme speed for priority, which is amazing in the in league format. Um, it gets access to all the elemental punches, but Ice Punch. I think it gets Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and no Ice Punch. Yeah, it gets Super Power, it gets Stone Edge, it gets Earthquake. Oh, yes, it gets Ice Punch. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it gets Iron Head for the Fairy types if you really want to run it. Earthquake. Um, it gets Aqua Tail, it gets Aqua Jet, it gets Brick Break. There's just a lot of things that this mod can do. And we're, essentially what we drafted the Z-Move for was just... Uh, we get to a point where we need to pop a Z-Move. We want to use Fly, honestly. Uh, it does depend on the matchup because different matchups do require. Because I can write, I might run Dragonium Z with Outrage. Uh, so I don't have to lock myself in. But uh, Fly is essentially what we drafted for. But with the base 134 and the multi-scale ability, makes life so much easier. It makes... If you're full HP and no rocks are up, you can take hits. We do have a lot of hazard removal on this team, or hazard removal that I did draft to make sure that my team was in the case. Because my team is, I believe, very weak to hazards, uh, but we make up for it with uh, our own hazard setters and our own mods. So I am very happy how I patched that up. But uh, yeah, we're going to run Go Knights Go this season. Usually it's Quetzal, but uh, had to go a different route this season with Go Knights Go. Next up, I did take Entei with my next pick, which is another extreme speed user, which is amazing. Um, two E speed users is pretty deadly because if I bring both of them in the same week, you have to trip about me out prioritizing your priority, priority, priority every every game, which is hard to uh, build around in my opinion. But Entei not only is also one of those hard hitters, 115 base attack, but a little faster than Entei. Or, I'm sorry, a little faster than Dragonite uh, at base 100, but the Sacred Fire Choice Bandit set is just too deadly. Uh, you run Extreme Speed. Uh, extreme Speed. Okay. Extreme Speed. There we go. Um, and But one thing that is huge about this set is re I've always tripped about Ground Help. Um, this thing only gets Bulldoze. It does get Stomping Tantrum now, which is a base 75 move. For those of you that don't know, um, if they fail their last move, so let's say they are locking themselves in Destiny Bond, and they go Destiny Bond, Destiny Bond, it fails, or Protect, Protect, it fails, this move is going to do double, so that's cool. Um, very interesting to find out. Uh, this thing, the monster, I've used Dente before, Ravage is a monster, and I love it. Going up next in the draft, uh, without Tapu Bulu, I didn't really know what fairy type I wanted to take, because I desperately needed one for this team. I knew I was going to need one, so I decided to go with Florges, and I've never used Florges before, but after looking at it, this thing is a beast. 112 special attack, 154 speed depth, 78 HP, that's not a lot, but 154 is what I'm looking at. It now gets access to Defog. I told you we passed this up. Uh, it gets access to Aromatherapy, which is something I desperately need for team. It gets access to Wish. Um, it can Call Mine. It gets Moon Blast. It gets Heal Bell. It can be a very big cleric, and it can hit pretty decent. Uh, it gets both screens, or I think it only gets Light Screen. Yeah, it only gets Light Screen. I'm sorry. It only gets Light Screen. But um, still, it gets access to Energy Ball, Giga Drain. It can heal itself. Uh, can it heal itself? Yes, yeah, Synthesis. I knew it had one. Uh, since I do believe it gets, does it get Moonlight as well? No, just Synthesis. Okay, so yeah. Does it get Recover? No. I'm still learning this Pokemon. Don't. But really, it's Ability, Flower Veil, the side, uh, this side's Grass type, okay, I have Stats Lord. Uh, it's, 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 it's pretty useless. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they don't really have it. Anything that helps with ability-wise. But this thing is there for bulk, and I help it out. It, it really does its job well, so I hope it does. It does really, oh, Synthesis is the other one. Wait, I already said synthesis. I don't know. Anyway, a wish! You run a wish on this thing. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm looking for, and I'm really excited to use that. Next up, I realized my team was lacking some hard-hitting special attackers. Or, like, Floor just is a hard-hitting special attacker, but more so than not, it's going to be bulk. So, I wanted an electric type. Personally, I was going to go the route of Heliolisk. And I got kind of drafted, and I was like, you know what? Let's go with old reliable PK Thunder. I haven't used Jolteon in a while, actually, so I'm really hyped to use it. Realistically, it only has a couple sets. You run Life Orb, you run Choice Specs, you run all those things. But the thing about it is, okay, the thing about it is, it hits so hard that it doesn't matter because you run a Hell uh, Thunderbolt, a Hidden Power, a a um a uh, Volt Switch, and a Shadow Ball, or like 
You could run Discharge over Thunderbolt. You can run, I guess, Hyper Voice if you want to be that guy. Uh, Signal Beam is actually a decent change for that. Um, I believe Charge Beam is decent for this set, for this Pokemon. Um, but that's really it. It doesn't get very many very many things unless we really, really, really grind it up and use Stored Power. That would be insane to fun to like try to do get a couple workups off and do that but the real reason it's here is 110 special attack i know floor just has more special attack than jolteon but not by much but it's 130 speed that's what makes it that's what makes jolteon jolteon is its speed so we're able to hit things hard and be pretty fast and all these games are played at level 50 by the way if you guys didn't know uh, it's wi-fi not showdown uh, next up, I did want to have a little assist in speed control because if you can't tell, my team is fairly all the hundreds. These team, these people are all like max out of hundred. I know Jolteon claps things. It easy clap. It outspeeds most things. It outspeeds literally most things on in the game. But I wanted to add a little speed control with my team, get a little diversity in there. So I decided to go with Itsy Bitsy. Now, what you're saying? Why do you? Why would you draft a 42 mom with speed with to try to get speed control? It gets access to Sticky Web, um, which is an amazing move. Its wa water bubble ability makes it even better because it's times two. Um, it's times two water can be burned, so those scalds aren't helping it. And firepower against it is half, so it'll, it'll take half damage, boost its water type moves, and can't be burned by scalds, which is a perfect switch into any water type because it's so helpful that it can't be burned. Um, with access to Sapu Finny Counter and Poison Jab, um, its Assault Vest. Assault Vest is set, it's special defense is out the wazoo, 132, throw an AV on it, it's like just on even with that to me. Uh, it's, it's defense is pretty nice at 92, a little better than Florges, which makes this thing a little bulkier, so I might be running them together for the defense and special defense, but, ah, who did I delete? I'm sorry, Florges, I'm sorry, Florges, I'm sorry, Florges, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, you can't tell I'm literally running this, this is the Florges set I'm running. I'm sorry, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, here we go, uh, back to that, but yeah, uh, it gets crunch, it gets lunge, so I have liquidation, it's like a truck, uh, if you want to run splash plate on it, it actually makes this thing pretty nice, um, lunge is a guaranteed minus one attack, so that could be helpful against some opponents, <clears throat> but we're really here, I really like the sticky web set, which helps Dragonite get up and sweep, uh, Entei get up and sweep, and potential Mew can set up and sweep as well, so we'll roll with that, but I'm gonna go to my face cam real quick, oh, I did not mean to do that, uh, we're gonna go to my face cam real quick, because I wanted to switch over, because I don't want to spoil the team for you guys, but after all that, I did want a specific Mega for this team, I'm sorry if I sound pretty congested, I think I am really congested, but... I want a mega. I wanted a mega that I've never used before, and it was lower tier. You see all my high tier power that I have. This is all the low tier power that I actually really like. But I decided to go with a, a different type of mega. I think it was tier three or tier two in this league. We went with Mega Glalie. Ooh, yikes! yikes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, Cody. Anyway, we decided to go with Mega Glalie. I don't Nick, literally Mega Glalie and Florges are the only Pokemon I don't have names for. It. But we're gonna run the shiny Mega Glalie this season. Um, mega Glalie's stats are our base 120 and 100 speed uh, attack. And it has refrigerate, so things like return are hitting hard. Things like explosion are hitting hard. If you want to be that guy, uh, what I really like about this thing is that it gets spikes and it gets priority and ice shard. So even though all my fat, like all my mods are supposed to hit hard, have the priority to hit hard. Aside from Jolteon, who has the speed anyway, so it don't matter. Um, something like this set would be interesting to run. Uh, it gets access to. Uh, special moves, which actually it has 120 special attack. So if I want to be special about it, I can run freeze drive. I can run crunch. I can run or it's dark pulse. I can run mix with ice beam. Um, I don't know. I wish it got like hyper voice or something along those lines. That would make this thing a little better, uh, in my opinion. But giga impact will hit like a truck if you want to be that guy. Uh, oh, it gets hyper beam. We could be those guys. Uh, so I'm excited to use Mega Glalie this season. Um, not sure how exactly it's going to go. Uh, I've never used it before, but oh, body slam! I can run body slam. That, that's interesting. I never, I didn't think of that. I'm actually really interested to use this thing. Double edge. Um, yeah, I've never used Mega Glalie before. I'm just really excited to use it. Really excited to get into it. So. Uh, we'll see. I do like the fact that it gets spikes because it gives me a spike setter on something I didn't have. I do have rocks with Mew. I do have uh, spikes with this thing. Sticky webs with um, Araquanid. So we got hazards to help our team be great. Um, it's another base 100 mon, and I know I'm 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 kind of mad at myself for beat. I'm kind of beat myself up for getting all the speed tiers how I did, but I think the sticky webs will help a lot. But uh, we did get a little below that, and we did go with a base 76 speed in Hitmonchan. Now Hitmonchan, I know my team is all special bulky, but the next two picks are all physical bulk, I promise. But the reason Little Mac got drafted was because we needed a spinner, and Rapid Spin really covers that. I love Hitmonchan, he's always close. I never took the tag off to my, in by the way, into the AM, fun. 
I didn't take a tag out of it. That's funny. Um, but I love Rapid Spin on this thing. I love running it at Assault Vest. Rapid Spin, at Drain Punch, Close Combat. Um, last season, I had Hitmonchan. This is the only member of the team that I had last season. I beat someone. I don't know who I did, but I ran a Trick Room Reuniclus into Hitmonchan and caught like four kills with this thing. Hitmonchan can be a threat if you really make it. But also, it can be very bulky because of that 110 spin def, um, 105 attack. makes it a very deadly mod to play against. And I love Little Mac, my Hitmonchan. I'm very excited to use him this season. Again. Next up, I went with a different route. Uh, Kenna. I've never used a Serena before. This is another spinner. Now, I originally needed a grass type, so I went with it. And uh, it's mostly here to spin. But again, aromatherapy. Give me the little, little cleric, which is nice. Uh, it can synthesize, heal itself. Uh, it gets a U-turn, it gets Trop Kick most important. Trop Kick is the most important move on this thing. And I say that, why isn't Trop Kick like the normal move on this thing? I'd say Trop Kick's the most important move on this Pokemon. The only thing I say that because Trop Kick does, I kid you not, 70, base 70 with a guaranteed lower. So you can guarantee lower attack mods so we can whittle them down with Araquanid and Serena. So like, it's intimidating, but it's... To me, it's a little better. We do some damage. It doesn't come in right away and knock it down, but we do have the ability to li like live hit with base 98 defense and 72 HP. We can make some bulk on it and start chop kicking things and make sure that they're healed. Base 72. So under Stiga webs, this thing could be kind of a threat. And if I really wanted to make it a hard hitting attack mod, just like Hitmonchan, if we want to be bulky attacking like max HP, max attack uh, under Sticky webs, these mods can make some serious damage. Honestly. Next up, I decided to go with Licky Licky because I wanted some more. Some more wish and i needed a normal type personally i needed something to eat those hits and honestly licky licky fit the mold licky licky is um very bulky 110 hp 95 defense it gets access to wish so that's really nice it can heal itself up heal other mons up uh, with that base 110 hp unlike our other mon is i think it has more than florges don't quote me on that i'll have to check but it gets a lot of moves knock off uh, most important i think on it toxic uh, it's the ability to break things down. I think just the bulk on this overall Pokemon. Oh, it gets Heal Bell as well. That's something that clerically or Cleric helps. So we have a lot of Clerics on this team that help the team. I, I, I've i always failed to draft really good support Pokemon. And I think I did a good job this time with it. Um, to support my Sweepers. Which the first six months plus Glalie can be Sweepers. So I'm really excited for that. I, I guess not Floor, just unless we get a bunch of Calm Minds up. But we'll see. Um, I'm excited to use this thing. Very excited to see how I run it. Um... Don't exactly know how I'm going to run it this season and it, how often it's going to come, but Majin Buu's here and I'm really excited to use her. I don't know if Majin Buu's a male or female, but it's going to be a female on my team because I'm, I, I think a fat bird. Anyway, with my last pick in the draft, I was going through it and I was like, I need a ghost type. I was going to dra draft Miss Magius and I was going to draft Kangaskhan. So I, I had Licky Licky, I flipped Licky Licky into, for, uh, Kangaskhan got picked I think, so I went with the other route, so I took Licky Licky. And then I took Stitch Jr. Haunter, who is my other Z user uh, for the season. Haunter is actually decent uh, with special 50, 115 special attack, 95 speed. We could potentially do some damage. And think, keep in mind, we don't have to run an attacking Z. Move. It can be um, Z Dragon X, for example. We can run something like that. But um, I'm interested because it's fast enough to run Destiny Bond. I could scarf Destiny Bond it if I wanted to. Give it a sack or make it a sack. Um, it gets really good help support moves with Will O Wisp, uh, like Destiny Bond. Um, it doesn't, it still gets Levitate, so we're, we're immune to ghost types, which is always nice. Um, it gets Hex, so if we want to be those guys, we can run that set. Uh, but then it gets Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave, the normal moves. It gets Psychic, Shadow, the Thunderbolt. And I believe Icy Wind is another move it gets. Yeah. So I'm I'm intrigued to use this thing, but I'm I don't know how often it's gonna come. I'm not gonna lie to you, we were building it for week one, and honestly it had a great matchup, and then we were like, nah, we're gonna bring a different Pokemon. So yeah, I'm excited to use this team. I'm very excited to bring it. Um we'll see how it goes. Uh so tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section if you what would you think name Forges and the Mega Glalie. I know there's some speed issues on my team, so I have the three base one hundreds. Um, an 80 and everything else is really the 70s and below like 76 I think is my next fastest because like I have 100 100 130 you're 42 75 yeah it looks like HP better than four just um, and then you're 80 and then what's in between I think you hit 100 yeah you're 76 you're 72 and then it's slow from there oh 95 okay so we did get something in between that's that's nice um, I do. I would have liked the 110, 115 Pokemon. Probably would have made things a little nicer. So I may be looking at that for 
Hitmonchan maybe? Hitmonchan seems like the most expendable member on the team just because like Serena is my grass type. Um, Jolteon is my fast mon. I don't want to drop Entei, Mew, or McGlaley. Dropping one of those hundreds that wouldn't make sense in my eyes. I want to use those three. We'll see. I, I like the team we have. I like the team we're bringing. So I hope that you guys enjoy this, dra this draft analysis. And I hope that you guys do like the team that I have. Um, I really want Dragonite to be our MVP this season. And I want to win the whole thing. Um, I want to do what the golden, real Golden Knights didn't do. Uh, the Golden D Knights are here to uh, try to fulfill that thing in their inaugural season so let's get it let's get hype if you guys are ready for this smash that like button comment don't forget to subscribe if you're new i'm gonna go out of here to the mini nation from boy davion your boys out